All right, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay. You know, um, whenever something happens, uh, whether it's in my life or whether it happens outside, I always uh, try to I, I, I try to make sense out of things that don't make sense, you know, or try to give it a meaning. Like, for example, if someone asks you, what's the meaning of life? Uh, some people would just get like, I don't know. And some people are like, oh, there's a deeper meaning. So for me, you know, whenever there is something that really hits me or impacts me, I spend a lot of time reflecting as to what is the meaning of all this. Now, especially with regards to that incident that happened in Thailand, which is, I, I can tell you without a doubt, it's affecting a lot of people, okay, the whole nation, okay. So me personally, because I have a, uh, I have a daughter. I, you'd not believe this, but uh, for the last, I think nearly uh, 24 hours or more than that, maybe 48 hours, I've just been reflecting as to what is the meaning? What was the lessons learned? What if something like that happened to me? I mean, you know, it was, it was really a time for me to reflect. In fact, I could not even go to sleep. And I made another video, which I thought I would not share. But then I decided, okay, that's me being vulnerable. I need to share. But in this video, I'm going to share with you the five lessons um, that um, I feel uh, this incident has taught me. Now, I'll share them with you. And um, you can decide for yourself whether you feel these lessons uh, do they make sense? You can agree, you can disagree. Because remember this, that what I might consider is important or what I might consider is, this is what I learned. Maybe you will disagree. So feel free to disagree and comment down below. Okay, so the five lessons uh, in no particular order. The first one, um, what I've realized is, and this is more like a repetition for me. You know, if you have to do something, if you have to do something or you have to say something to someone or you have to spend time with someone or you want to uh, show your love and appreciation to someone, don't plan it out one day I will do it or I'll do it. If you have to do it, sometimes it's best to just do it now. Like I'll, I'll give you the example. When I, uh, after this incident happened, I was really, really disturbed. I was really, really, I was feeling terrible, man. And then I kept thinking, what if it was my daughter? And, you know, like any other father, I love my daughter very much. So I really thought about her and uh, I decided, okay, um, let me try to keep her happy. Yes, uh, you can check the video where I bought her a surprise. Uh, that was a video where I just, you know, I went to the convenience store and I purchased uh, the toys that she liked, which I always kept telling her, no, 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 we already bought this. We can buy it later even the sweets, even the ice creams. Now, obviously, you need to keep a balance and not spoil the child or spoil the individual. But I felt, you know, I'm always telling my daughter, I'll get it one day. Might as well just get it now and finish it, you know. And whether it, it need not be just materialistic, it can be whether you want to say something to someone. In fact, I did call up a couple of people who were important to me and I shared my feelings, whatever they were, um, because I realized... Maybe I'll not get another chance. And I think this exercise is very important that you need to share your feelings and emotions with the people uh, who matter to you because maybe you'll not get a second chance. You know, uh, you just don't know. So the first one is do it now. The second one is kind of controversial. You may or may not agree. But what I've realized in life, there is no right and there is no wrong. Like, for example, th this incident that happened, I mean, where was the justice that was served? There was no justice that was served. Where was the, the guy who committed the crime? He just got an easy death. He killed himself. Uh, so where was the justice? Where is the justice to the families um, who are seeking answers, who are, you know, who have lost the most precious thing in their lives? So where's the justice for them? So I'm, now that does not mean that I'm trying to tell you, okay, start doing wrong or be bad or be evil. No. But you need to understand and realize that so many things will happen in life where it will not, forget not making sense. 
it may not be right. Like a person can, like, uh, you know, one of the news articles where they had this Pakistani guy who uh, saved, worked his entire life, saved everything and uh, had a farm only for the flash floods to completely destroy his house, his farm, everything. And at 62 or 64, he was saying that, I worked my entire life just to retire and be with my family and now everything is gone. I don't know if he lost his family people also with that. So, you know, you just begin to realize there is no right, there's no wrong. We always like to believe that if we do good, good things will happen and people who do bad, um, you know, they will suffer. But I, I can tell you without a doubt, what I've seen in life is uh, there's no right and wrong, but that does not mean you should do wrong for others. Always straight, stay true to your, you know, values. Point number three, this one will definitely ruffle a lot of feathers especially the ones who are religious, there is no God, okay? And uh, this incident just proves once again, I mean, if there was a God, where was he? Why didn't he stop this from happening? What does he have a greater plan? Uh, what What is he doing? Where was he? Simple. I'm, I'm asking, where was this God? So I'm pretty sure uh, religious people will say, oh, God has a special plan. Just shut up, man. Is, uh, I, I don't need to go further with this. There is no God. And it's very evident with water. It was not the devil who made. There's nothing like, you know, in religion, they, they are thought nothing happens without God approving it. You know, so where is the God? There is no God. And uh, if there's a God, how would these people be compensated? What would you tell this family? Oh, God loves you. God is every. Come on. Even those people who commented, oh, may Allah give strength or may Jesus bless them or may Om Shanti or whatever. What? Come on, man. Point number four, uh, this is something that I've grown up with and I always believe very firmly, is be mentally prepared for the worst, okay? Every single day of my life, I always think, oh, okay, today when I drive, I need to be careful, accident, I need to be cautious, um, I'm dealing with this client, maybe he can cheat me. You know, I always prepare myself for the worst because you just do not know when you put your guard down and when the worst can, can happen. Even when I take my daughter outside, uh, you know, I always put that band, which is like, um, it's it's like, you know, when you have a dog, you have a leash on the neck. But for my baby, I have, it's like a strap and it has a long uh, kind of a uh, leash, if you can call it. Um, and people laugh at it and all that. But I know for a fact that my daughter might, can just run. So this, by holding it, I ensure that she doesn't go anywhere and she doesn't get lost. So you always have to be mentally prepared for the worst and be prepared is the word. And last, if not the least, point number five is, you know, we all like to believe there is a special meaning, a special purpose, a special something to life. Okay. And um, I myself always wanted to know what was the meaning of life. I've just realized that there is no meaning. That's a fact. There's no meaning. Life only the meaning that life has is the meaning you give. So the meaning for your life is different from the meaning of his life and the meaning from his life and the meaning of someone else. A guy who is a complete drug addict, who is wasted, who is smoking, drinking, who doesn't want to work. What's the meaning in his life? Someone who studies very hard and is focused on their career and achieves success. What's the meaning of their life? Someone who sacrifices everything for their children and dedicates their life to only keeping their family happy. What's the meaning of his life? Someone who has dedicated their life to God or someone who has been good, but all of a sudden loses everything because of a tragedy. What's the meaning of their life? So we can have 110 different uh, theories about it. But what I've realized is life, there is no meaning other than what you give it. So what meaning you give it, that's right for you. And that's what it remains. So these are the five lessons I've learned from this incident. Um, let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Because for me, what I personally believe is, uh, yes, there are a lot more lessons uh, you can learn and you can think of. But for me, given that I sat day and night, just, just these last two days, couldn't sleep and thinking about it, I jotted down, I wrote down my thoughts. And finally, I thought, these are the lessons I've learned and I thought I'd share them with you. Let me know what do you think. Good, bad, ugly. Comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts. You guys take care.